Hey guys, so we're out here today at the spot and we got some bearings. It's about time we get some bearings. These are some Synopsis bearings. They're ABEC 9. One of them is stainless steel bearings and the other one is ceramic black ball formula. High precision ceramic bearings. And I don't know if you're thinking the same thing that I'm thinking, but I'm thinking, what does that mean? I know ceramic bearings are more expensive. I don't know why. Today, we'll find out. So first I'm opening up the uh, stainless steel ones. I mean, in my mind, I would go stainless steel. Well, that has to be faster, right? Stainless steel is very smooth, um, but it's not. And I'm not totally sure why. Ceramic, the word ceramic, it means it's like hardened clay. So apparently that's the ball inside of the bearings is made of hardened clay and the other ball inside of the bearing is made of steel. Upon opening this, I see the synthetic grease, bearing spacers, the bearings, and then I thought this was really cool, like extra bolts. Sometimes the bolts on your trucks get so worn out that they don't go back on. So I'm actually really stoked on this little package. Look at that. What other bearings come with its own synthetic grease? I mean, that's pretty intense. These have covers on them, so you can't see the inside, but if I were to pull off of that blue cover, you would see a bunch of balls inside of there. And the balls inside of there are made of stainless steel, whereas the balls inside of the other ones are gonna be made of ceramic. And they're, they're black balls, where these ones are they're silver balls. So I'm gonna put those aside, and then we're gonna open up the ceramic ones. Boom, very similar. Still has the synthetic grease, but these ones are black. Why does it make it so much cooler when they're black? And it says Synopsis Ceramic. These ones are probably very intense. I don't even know if I can handle how intensely fast these are probably going to be, but these are the ones I'm gonna put in my board for sure. And again, the thing that I'm most impressed at this moment in time is this whole, the bolts, the spacers, the ceramic bearings, and then the, the synthetic grease. So that's that. You can see the difference, black and blue. So these ones have ceramic balls and these ones have stainless steel balls. Why ceramic versus stainless steel? I don't know, let's, let's look it up and find it out. Okay, so we got an answer. I looked up on the internet using this thing called Google. It says they deform less under load, meaning they have less contact with the bearing retainer walls and can roll faster. In very high speed applications, heat from friction during rolling can cause problems for metal bearings which are reduced by the use of ceramics. So what does that all mean? Good question. So inside of this, I can't, I'm not gonna pull off, of, pull off the uh, outside covering, but if I did, I would pull off that blue piece and you'd see a bunch of balls inside there. So the outside walls are there. So those little rolling balls are in contact with the outside, outside piece. So I'm gonna try and do this with my hand. So let's say, my hand is the outside piece of the bearing and you have a bunch of balls and these are spinning around. So as they're spinning and as things start to move faster and faster and faster, these things are going to heat up. That heat is going to cause friction, etc., and it's gonna cause the bearing to roll slower. Well, change the ball from this ball here, from steel to ceramic, and it's gonna roll around colder. It's not gonna heat up as fast or as hot, I should say, as the stainless steel balls, which is gonna allow you to roll faster. The other thing is that the, the ceramic balls don't lose their shape as much under a lot of, of pressure. So you have these in your wheels and then you stand in your board and if it was stainless steel, then it says they deform less under load. And by deform less, they're meaning the ceramic balls deform less under the pressure of you standing on there and that's also gonna help with the speed. I normally just have whatever random bearings I come across. Um, they usually are stainless steel, so this is gonna be my very first time skating ceramics, so I'll be interested to see how they roll. Stoked slash slightly scared. Longest manuals ever, dot net. So now we're gonna test out the ceramic bearings.
seem fast. They seem to roll smooth. Felt like I was going fast. I mean, that was at least like 65 miles per hour, right? So I probably won't really know the true difference of the ceramics until I've skated them for like a month or so, I would say. But yeah, as of right now, they feel really smooth. They seem to roll great. So yeah, I'm excited to, uh, I'm excited to skate them more. A big thanks to Synopsis Bearings for sending us the bearings. A big thanks to each and every one of you people out there for watching these videos. And we really, really appreciate all of your subscriptions. Please click that like button and leave a comment below. I actually want to know what you guys think. Ceramic or steel? Definitely check out Skateboarding Made Simple. It's available on all these platforms, iBooks, RailSkateboarding.com, and Google Play. It's the most comprehensive video we've ever made and it teaches skateboarding better than anything else out there. You won't be disappointed. The rain is pouring outside, maybe I could go home.